Yo, it's your boy GT here from the Gangster Times. Please like, comment and subscribe to my channel. Also hit me up on Instagram, which is gangstertimes underscore official. And on my Snapchat, type in the search box, Gangster Times. So guys, as you're aware, yesterday I reported on this story where Leon Cullen from Warrington was jailed for just over 22 years for his involvement in a firearms and drugs conspiracy. And there's been some more details with regards to what was said in court in regards to his trial. So I'm just going to go through that now. So it's believed that when he was arrested in Dubai, he was beaten in a Dubai prison and was forced to brush his teeth with soap after fleeing the UK in a desperate attempt to evade capture. So in court, it was brought up that Leon Cullen, a major cocaine and gun supplier in Liverpool and in other towns in northwestern Wales, used a fake passport to try and escape justice in 2018. It was rumoured he spent time in Spain and Thailand but he was eventually caught in Dubai where he was arrested on January the 3rd 2020. And according to his barrister Oliver Cook, he said while he was in jail in Dubai, Cullen was severely beaten as a hood was placed on his head. His barrister added, he was left for days in a dark room with a hood on his head. He was held in a cell with 50 other inmates. Liverpool Crown Court heard how Cullen's head was shaved and he was forced to to wear robes and sandals and he was regularly beaten by the guards. His barrister said he brushed his teeth with soap. He had been trying to effect his extradition to the UK for some time after he had been arrested in Dubai. I know that the consulate had been contacted on a number of occasions. When he was extradited, he was zip-tied, put into the back of the car and handed over to the UK authorities. There is absolutely no criticism in the way the UK authorities acted. It may be in the court's mind that he brought his confinement on himself by leaving the jurisdiction when he did. But nobody ought to be treated in the way he was treated, no matter what criminal offence they had committed. So as I stated previously, Cullen's brother Anthony, who fronted the organised crime group with his sibling, was jailed for 27 years in 2019 after being caught by the National Crime Agency. And as I reported yesterday at Liverpool Crown Court, Cullen was himself jailed for 22 years and 6 months. The court heard that an alarming arsenal of weapons was uncovered at the home on Rylands Drive in Warrington. That included a functioning AK-47, a pump-action shotgun, automatic pistols and revolvers, as well as a silencer that was fitted to one of the automatic handguns. The barrister argued in court that his client had suffered hardship in a Dubai jail, which should be taken into account when sentencing. And Judge Gary Woodall replied, I bear in mind the harsh regime you were under in the United Arab Emirates. He went on to say, although some would say you have only yourself to blame, having fled there to evade justice in this country. So a serious crime prevention order is being sought by police against Cullen and a separate proceeds of crime application is now underway to try and recover some of the ill-gotten gains. When informed of this, Cullen on a video link told the judge, no problem your honour. His barrister claimed his client intends to be better himself in custody and on his release to become a productive member of society. So just to summarise, Liverpool Crown Court heard how Leon, while working on a level with Anthony, had a different role and he was in contact with gangland figures higher up the hierarchy who supplied the cocaine. Leon was responsible for the supply of very high purity cocaine, around 50 kilos in total, and used the gun stash to enforce the gang's reputation, often intimidating customers as associates who owed them money. Vehicles were used to transport the drugs, including a car which had a secret hide, which was controlled by a device linked to the cigarette lighter. Judge Gary Woodall told him, It's perfectly clear to me that those further down the chain of command who were carrying out the day-to-day -day activities either had properties provided for them or their rent paid. The gun hole found in Warrington was the biggest firearm seizure in Cheshire Police's history. When the gang was sentenced in court back in 2019, they received prison sentences totalling 185 years. And Cullen, who pleaded guilty to conspiracy to supply firearms, conspiracy to possess ammunition and conspiracy to supply cocaine, was handed 10 and a half years for the cocaine supply and 12 years for the gun possession and transfer. And they're going to be running consecutively. And guys, just on a side note, I totally understand what Leon Cullen's barrister is going on about with regards to being locked up abroad. I mean, I've never been to Dubai, I've never been... In trouble in Dubai so I won't know what the prison system is like there but I have been to Thailand and I have been arrested there and let me tell you fuck me was my shit about to come out you guys would absolutely love that story once I got a bit of time or when the time's appropriate 
I'll let you know what happened, but fuck me, I got taken to Chalong Police Station in Phuket for something I didn't even do, my pal did, but all that was going through my head was watching those documentaries of being banged up abroad in Thailand, and I thought, fuck that, in the end, we wormed our way out by paying a bit of money, but fuck me, would I want to experience that again, all of you, fuck me, one day I'll tell you guys, trust me, when you hear it, you guys are going to be pissing yourselves, I'm telling you, but yeah, fuck being locked up abroad, I'd rather deal with the consequences over here. Think it's your boy GC. Keep it locked, keep it real.